Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at a few different ways of managing your code styles and formatting within Android Studio or IntelliJ. So the first thing that we want to take a look at is how do we actually go in and reformat our code within Android Studio or IntelliJ? And there's really a few options for us to do this. The first one is to go up to the code option in our menu, and then scroll down to reformat code, and then select that. And once you've select that, it will reformat the code of whatever file you're currently within. Similarly, you could go over to your project view or your Android view over on the left hand side of the screen. You could right click a file and then navigate down to reformat code. In this case, it'll actually ask you several options. It'll ask if you want to optimize your imports, clean up code, or a couple other things that are blurred out depending on your IDE options. So I'm just going to leave this as is for now and hit OK. So right there, we have two ways of reformatting the code. However, we could also do this at a per package or even per module level. So I could right click on this package, or I could even go up to my app module, right click, and once again, select reformat code. When doing it from the module level, again, it gives me options like optimize imports or cleaning up code, but then it also allows me to update the scope. And I can come down here and choose different scopes, such as only project files, only project source files, only test files, or just everything within this scope or within this module. So for now, I'm just going to leave this unselected and select run. And you'll see it's going to go through all of the files within this module and reformat that code to make sure it's matching our code style settings that are defined within the application. We could also update the code formatting by using the shortcut. So for me, oftentimes I will use the lookup command and type reformat code. And again, it'll pull up that dialog for us. Or you could use the shortcut itself. On a Mac, the shortcut is Option Command L. And it'll vary depending on which operating system you're using, Mac, Linux, or Windows. So now, similarly to reformatting our code, often we want to make sure that we're optimizing our imports. This is important if you're using a tool like KTLint, which might report errors for any unused imports. So to optimize these imports, we can do pretty much all the same things. We can come up to the code menu and scroll down to optimize imports. We could look up the optimize imports option using the lookup shortcut. Or once again, we could right click on a file, a package or a module, and then scroll down to optimize imports, which again, if we hit run, it will go through all of the code and optimize those imports for us. Now, why do we want to go through this trouble? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Having nice, clean, consistent code formatting across your project can make it much easier to work in the entirety of the code base, especially if you're on a team. If different files are formatted differently based on who worked on them, then it becomes easier to tell who is owning certain files, which isn't necessarily something you want. It also makes it more difficult to jump into a file if it's formatted differently than you're used to. It also sometimes can lead to lost time if you're having a lot of debates during code review about what the proper way of formatting your code is. So if you can define a set style ahead of time and ensure that everybody can easily adhere to that style, you can make your team much more productive. Now. All of these commands to optimize imports or to reformat your code, they're all based on the code style settings defined for your project or IDE. To find those, you can go to your IDE settings or preferences, depending on which platform you're on. So on a Mac, I'll come up here to preferences, and then you can select editor and then select code style. So right here, you'll want to notice the scheme. So by default here, I have a project scheme. And what this means is that the code style settings are actually living within the project itself. This is probably what you want because it makes it much easier to share. However, you could also select different 
code styles that might be stored in the IDE itself. For now, we're gonna just leave this as project. Now, how do you customize these depending on what platform you're working with or what language? Well, if you open up the drop down here in the left-hand side, you can see that we have different code styles for different types of code we might be writing. So if we come down here to Java, you'll see that it presents us with this menu in which we can customize the code style. So to start, we could change our tab size from four to let's say two if we wanted. And we could change the indent to two and maybe the continuation indent to four. You'll notice that there's also settings for things like spaces, wrapping and bracings, blank lines, or even imports. This import section is where we could change the rules that are used when we're optimizing our imports. Now, similarly, we could come down here to Kotlin. And once again, we have similar types of rules. We can update tabs and indents, spaces, blank lines, etc. So once again, let's say we change the tab size from four to two, and then the indent from four to two, You'll see in the right hand side here is giving us a live preview of what code looks like with those new settings applied. So now what if you don't want to have to go through and update all these settings one by one? Maybe you just want to grab some reasonable defaults, apply those to your project and move on for you and your team. Well, we can do that quite easily as well. You can come up here to go set from, navigate to predefined style and select Kotlin style guide. This will apply the settings from the default Kotlin style guide. Similarly, you could come over to the Java section and go set from predefined style, and you could use the Android Java style guide. And then you can hit OK. And as long as these are added to your version control system, you'll be able to share those settings across your team. So that's been a quick look at how you can reformat your code, optimize your imports, and tweak the code style settings within your project. This can lead to fewer discussions or disagreements about these code styles, make your code more consistent across the entirety of the code base, and ultimately hopefully save you time and effort. Are you using a predefined code style? Let me know in the comments down below what you're using to reformat your code and what code style settings you're using. Thank you so much for watching devs. I hope this was useful. Until next time.